Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be giving my review for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Um, so, start out by saying, as like I've said in other videos in the past, I'm not a massive superhero fan anymore, a massive Marvel fan, DC fan. Um, I enjoy some, but I don't have to watch every single one. I don't love every single one anymore. Um, Guardians, I watched, uh, the first Guardians was, when I was really watching them, was in my top five for favorite Marvels, uh, movies, um, but the second one I thought was okay, I didn't love it as much, so I went ahead and watched this one just so I could finish out the trilogy since this will be the final, uh, film in this first, in this trilogy. Um, and it's probably going to be an unpopular opinion because this movie is getting massive rave reviews and great scores. Um, uh, but like I said, this is coming from a non-Marvel fanatic. Um, I thought the movie was fine. Um, I thought that they... I thought the cinematography was nice, the acting, the chemistry, all that worked as usual, like it should. I mean, the three movies into it, if they ain't got chemistry by now, how they get three movies. Um, I felt like the movie was too long. Um, I just feel like uh, I started to feel the runtime quite a bit. Uh, it did have a couple of nice action scenes in the beginning and towards the end. Um, the middle for me, once they kind of sideline Rocket in a way, I mean, Grant, the movie is technically about him, but for me personally, it felt like we kind of got him sidelined because he was basically the whole movie. He, for most of the movie, it was just him on a table dying and them trying to save him. And, you know, Rocket was one of, is one of those characters that brings a lot of energy to these movies. And he, he is, or was, one of my favorites when I, when I watched uh, the other two. <clears throat> and, um, or even the Avenger Endgame Infinity War. Um, so he, he's always been one of my favorites so when you sideline him for as much as the movie as they did it kind of bummed me out a little bit i was just very like you know we're missing that smart ass uh character in you know because he's kind of a smart ass very funny kind of a character um but it just, it felt like that he was sidelined to me. And I did not, I, did, I didn't like he was sidelined for that long. I was hoping we could have got more with him. We do get him finally towards the end when he comes back. But, um, it just, overall, it just felt okay. It didn't blow me away. Um, did it in the stories of everybody well? Yes. I mean, I think all the stories came to a close very well. Um... I do, I was a little upset when, um, we didn't really get a huge death. Um, I know everybody was talking about, well, it's, you know, Drax is probably going to die because he's, you know, Batiste, Batiste is not coming back for any more. And then it was Rocket was going to die because this, the movie's solely about him for the most part. And it just kind of looked like it was going that way. And we never got that death. We never, they didn't do, they didn't give us anything. Um, none of them, none of them died. They all just lived happily ever after, basically, after it was all over with. Um, I guess you could say they didn't have the guts to kill anybody off. Um, whether that was because of afraid of upsetting the fans or what, but, um, I think you could have had a nice emotional punch, more of an emotional punch, had you have done that. Um, because really, I didn't really feel that emotional punch. They try to give you that <clears throat> uh, 
throughout the movie with Rocket's flashbacks, which I felt like, I mean, the flashbacks was fine, but I felt like at times also unneeded. I didn't, uh, it, it just wasn't interesting to me for the flashbacks to, to realize, to see he had made some friends along the way, some animal friends, and then they got killed, and that was sort of one of your, supposed to be one of your emotional gut punches, but I just didn't care, so I didn't really feel that emotional gut punch. Um, and then, of course, you get it at the end when, uh, they basically say their goodbyes and say where they're going, and, um, you know, it just felt like, Especially when it comes to Groot saying his his line where you can actually understand him. His line was given so fast that it didn't feel like... I didn't feel that emotional impact. I didn't really feel that emotional impact when EM said their goodbyes. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm not a hardcore Marvel fan. So, I'm not attached to the characters as everybody else to feel that. Um, but... Uh, I just didn't. Uh, also, our villain in this, to me, felt like a shitty villain. Um, it just, once again, is, basically it was the guy that created, that created Rocket, and he, j it's just a whiny, uh, a whiny man with the God complex, wanting to, wanting to, correct the world and create a world where people can live in peace and you know it's just another same old villain that we get thanos was kind of the same way he he, he wanted to wipe out half the world and and uh make the world a better place and uh you know it just always seems to be same old same old with these superhero villains um Nothing, nothing really new, uh, and, you know, it just, I don't know, I think it'd be different if we didn't get so many a year with these superhero movies, but I just, I didn't love this one, I just found it to be okay, I found it to be fine, um, I ended up giving this a 3 out of 5. Um, it puts it, probably, I, I think if I was ranking them I, from worst to best, it would be two, three, one. Um, but, so it's, it's not terrible, it's not the worst of the trilogy, but it's just one that it's just kind of there. I didn't feel that impact like everybody else felt. Um, and like I said, I, it, it could just be because I'm not the massive Marvel fan I used to be. So, uh, take it for what you will. But, you know, I'll still watch some. You know, I'm, I'm still interested in, like, Deadpool and, and Blade. And, um, if they do X-Men, probably, and... Uh, Fantastic Four probably, but, um, you know, I, I'm not going to watch every single one of them. I just, like I said, I just watched this one because I'd watched the first two. So I wanted to see how this one turned out. And, you know, it, it, I got what I expected. Just a okay, slightly funny at times, uh, film that had some couple good action scenes, but nothing that blew me away, so... But that is everything from my review for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. So please comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified for our videos. And we'll see you all in the next one.